Roswell flight test crew back here at the Cleveland National Air Show. Thanks to our good friends at Go Professional Cases. I'm back here with Matt Nishak. How are you doing, Matt? Hey, what's up? And uh, and here with Mike, also with Mike Hanna. Now, now today they're talking to us with their drone work hats on, and you've got this really slick new design. Tell me what's going on here, because this thing looks cool. Yeah, so uh, so essentially we uh, we realized that you know the props are dangerous here. They're dangerous to the yeah. environment. Uh, you want to protect the propellers, the equipment as well. So we set out to design a propeller guard, and this is the first version we came up with, and it's actually, uh, uh, we actually got lucky here because it does its job, we believe it protects the propellers, it flies well, but if you look at the profile, it's actually uh, has some pretty good thrust throughput, even versus a fixed boom design. That fixed boom going to the motor blocks a lot of that wind going through there. But this being real thin 1.5 millimeter carbon fiber, it's a very uh, limited uh, obstruction on airflow. So we got uh, the job done of protecting the propellers and we actually had come up with a more efficient design. So overall this flies uh, flight times equal to a fixed boom design. Wow, no, no. So yeah, so less parasitic drag. And yes. you say this protects the propellers, which is good in case you bump into a tree or something. But I also like that it protects people. I mean, you shouldn't be exactly. flying around people exactly. anyway, exactly. but yeah. even if you do, right. you know, you're not going to lacerate somebody. I mean, they'll get a bump, but... Yeah, and also in addition to that, I don't know if you, uh, you've you ever been flying a multi-rotor, and maybe you'll land okay, but you, it'll be windy like it is out here today, and the multi-rotor will just kind of tip over. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, and boom, you, you, you broke two, four props, yeah. right? So that will never happen with something like this. So we were really happy with the way uh, this, this performed, um, but we, we actually didn't stop there. No, we did not stop there. We actually Flip. came up with prototype two. So here's uh, here's version 2.0, which looks just wicked, by the way. Thank you. Yes, thank, <laughs> thank you. Well, this is uh, this is kind of our baby, so we uh, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, I have a wicked baby. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So what we've done here is we've increased the um, the uh, pod design, the uh, the prop guard diameter. These are 10 inch uh, props. They're more aggressively pitched. Um, we've actually taken care of some uh, yaw issues we had by uh, shimming the motors in here. So uh, we had a little bit of problem with yaw authority early on. Okay. But by shimming it, um, we have excellent uh, yaw authority. Those props bite into the direction that you want the craft to go. And uh, we actually have a version 3.0 that will allow uh, even larger prop guards to uh, fold down into an easy, uh, uh, easy stow and go configuration. So it's easy to transport. Like if, if you're like us and you travel a lot, you know, big aircraft get to be a real hassle to put on airplanes. And yeah, the, well, the, the aircraft is essentially its own case. You can transport <laughs> it this way, but uh, um, it does fold down. It can go into a carrying case or a bag. Well, it's also going to have a landing gear that retracts. Oh, uh, and you, you, were, land it, you can land it either with the landing gear or you can land it on the bottom. And you were talking about sending us one of these things? I think that uh, we're going to uh, manage to get you one. We're working with carbon fiber is obviously very expensive, but uh, I think we'll get, get you a reasonable facsimile out of G10 or something Fantastic. like that. Fantastic. Fantastic. I want to point out for the folks at home, just because this isn't immediately clear, this is actually a Y6. Each of these pods actually contains two motors, That's so, so it's a powerful little ship. It's a yeah, yeah, this is a heavy lift design that will uh, be very nimble and, uh, 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 you know, if you, if you want to do aerial video where you got to kind of uh, maneuver in there, and it'll be very stable for still uh, still shots as well. So, yeah. what's your, what does the aircraft weigh all up with the battery and everything, and what's your payload in excess of that? It's about uh, five pounds with the with the battery, and we anticipate uh, with this particular aircraft another five to six pound payload with an expected 15 minute flight time. Our uh, our 13 inch uh, prop guard design will actually have a 10 pound payload and expect 15 to 20 minutes of flight time with it. Fantastic. Now this isn't available yet, but you're going to start selling version 3 of this at DroneWorks.com? Absolutely. Uh, you can uh, look at this. We have a whole line of uh, carbon fiber frames right now, but uh, this will soon be available at uh, DroneWorks.com. And uh, please come check us out by all means. That's fantastic. And I think we have to seriously, all promotional opportunities aside, although this is a great promotional opportunity, we ought to get you together with Rick from GoPro Cases for your folding design, because he's building beautiful cases for like the S1000, where the limbs fold down like that, and it's just great if you have to travel by air or something. I, I would uh, I would love to meet him, and I, I, I appreciate uh, um, him helping you bring out, uh, bring you guys out here to meet with us today. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank yeah. you. No, we, well, we literally wouldn't be here without him. So Matt, thanks for meeting with us again. Great to see you. Good to see you. And nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. Take care. Okay, so that's it for us from the Cleveland National Air Show right here in Ohio. 
We also want to thank Rick Bowman again from Go Professional Cases for making this trip possible. And he's made another trip possible for us, which is why we're going to be seeing you in Dallas, Texas in two weeks for the Drone User Group Network Conference. Hope you're watching. See you next time. All right. Fly safe.